Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Xbox Update Adventures Let's Play, a Let's Play where I've been playing through the various updates that have come out for Minecraft on the Xbox 360, building stuff, killing stuff, and of course, destroying stuff, and today I'm going to be doing even more destruction, it seems to be all I do recently, but it's so I can make way from some building, because over here I do have a perfect place to actually make a savannah biome, or at least some kind of cool uh, custom biome here, because it's a desert biome in disguise as a swamp biome, so if I do some work to this, I can actually change this into something quite cool, but but before I can do that, there is a big project that will be coming through here, and it's to do with my destroyed chunks. So, uh, if you've been watching the Let's Play for a while now, you're probably familiar on some level with the destroyed chunks. It's uh, one of those big projects that I work on, I'm like, why am I really doing this? And I, even though it looks quite cool, I wanted to kind of implement it into the rest of the world and give it kind of a function, and that's why I'm going to be like kind of expanding it into a big trench that will be going down the world, uh, because uh, where the um, destroyed chunks are placed is actually perfect, or next to perfect, uh, to actually make it so that when new biomes come out, and I want to explore those, I, you know, I won't basically have to as long as I don't, uh, as long as I don't go past the uh, dividing line. So if I make a new biome on this side of the dividing line, I think that'd be a pretty cool thing to do. And that's basically what I'm going with here. So I need to make that line and make it where it is clear, basically going down the map first. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing as soon as we, f oh, here's a destroyed chunk over here. I always get lost in these forests because there, th you know, there is just a massive forest on this map. I've uh, deforested a lot of it, but there's still just trees on trees on trees on trees everywhere. And it's kind of crazy. So yeah, here's the progress I made on the second destroyed chunk. I think it's pretty hefty. There's the first one, just a progress. So it's kind of like 1.5 destroyed chunks. Uh, but yeah, before I can actually get started on that, what I want to talk to you about is the 1UP box uh, I received. So basically, I got in touch with 1UP box. If you don't know, they're basically a service that's kind of like Christmas every month. If you really love receiving gifts, you pay uh, just under $30 a month, and that includes shipping and handling. I worked for previous box that did not do that, and it was awful. They charged like $8 shipping and handling. But yeah, basically, you, you pay uh, just under $30 a month, and you get a little bit off that of a discount code in the description. But basically, yeah, you do that, and they'll send you a box with a theme each month, and you get so much stuff for that. And it is really cool, because when it arrives, you're like, what's in the box, what's in the box, and you immediately need to open it. Fortunately for you guys, uh, I, I, me and 1UP Box, I would decide to say, oh, let's uh, send me a box. And they just wanted me to share it with you guys and show it looks like. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you my 1UP box and uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is quickly split to a face cam. Hello over there, internet. And yeah, what we're going to be doing now is I'm going to be opening the 1UP box they sent me. So uh, yeah, this is going to be awesome. It looks cool. It's got the cool little face. Uh, any, any box with a face is a good box to me. But yeah, there are actually things inside here that are exciting too. And since I know there's a t-shirt and other stuff in here, I'm starting to wonder how they fit it in a box so small. Because, like, here's my hand for reference. Like, I can put my... F like, yeah, hand my hand can cover the entire side. But, yeah, let's let's find out what's inside, shall we? So, I do have a knife here. Knives are dangerous, though. I, I, don't, I think this is a cheese knife, but it's, like, super sharp. So, maybe it's just because it's yellow that I think that. And also, I'm probably using it wrong. But that's... This isn't about how to open your box. This is about what's inside the box. Probably, anyway. What if there's just another box inside the box, and it's like, uh, matriarch, uh, yeah, the, the Russian dolls where it's one inside another. That'd be pretty wacky. But that's not the case. Oh, I believe this is a Minecraft themed box, because the first thing, wait, let's show you. The first thing I see, I think you can see it too here, is a Minecraft sheep. So this is awesome. I think, uh, by itself, this has got a uh, pretty, like, I, I bought a Minecraft Plus before. I have it, wait, one sec. I have an ocelot on the ground here, and these things are so expensive because they're licensed and stuff. The fact that there's just a sheep, first of all, that's incredible. I like that. So yeah, we got a sheep. We're going to rest this on the microphone. But wait, let's... I, I want to rest it on the... There we go. There we go. Found a, found a place for the sheep right there. So we got a sheep in the box. That's awesome. Uh, I, I did want to add to my Minecraft plush collection, but I always feel kind of silly when I buy them. And someone got me as a gift. Why not box it? So that's awesome. I, I like your little sheep. But what else is going on here? So we have... Oh, I believe this is some form of keychain with a diamond sword in. Because you can see, there's a little diamond sword in there, and there's a bunch of chains. So, and then, oh, it says it's too dangerous to go alone. Take this. I, I like that. One up box exclusive, apparently. So, apparently, you can't get this anywhere else. Uh, is it a necklace? I honestly, okay, so I'm really bad with jewelry. I think this is a necklace. It might be a wrist thing that you meant to double tie. But even if it, even if it is, yeah, diamond sword. Oh, because, yeah, that's, I like this. I like that. That's, that's clever. So. Got some jewelry, got a, uh, probably jewelry. I, honestly, like, I know this is one of those things where I'm probably misunderstanding, but it's fine. Probably jewelry, probably a plush, and there's a t-shirt in every box. So, uh, the t-shirt, of course, you have to pick your size and stuff, but the t-shirt is always, uh, you know, a really cool design. Uh, I haven't seen one of the t-shirts yet that I wouldn't want to wear, and, uh, yeah, these boxes are a good source of these. And if you look over here, like that, 
it's it's a pretty cool t-shirt. So yeah, I'll be adding this to the collection. I really love just t-shirts, like gaming stuff on them. It's kind of like a way of, uh, you know, signifying to people in public that that's what you want. So, what else is in the box? You can see there are a few other things still. So we've got ourselves a t-shirt, a Minecraft plush, and probably jewelry. <laughs> but what else is inside? So, uh, we also have... I... Can anyone guess what this is right now? I cannot. Okay, so... Inside... What? what this is... This is beyond confusing to me, um, and I can't open it, so I'm going to have to use the knife again. So, this is why you always need a knife or scissors or something for unboxing. Uh, I know in America, like, everyone just has a knife just for opening boxes, but over here, that's not so common. So, maybe it's a blindfold for sleep? No, that's not it. Oh, wait, actually, is it that? So, I think it might be a blindfold for sleeping, but I really think I'm wrong on that. So, how about I put it on my head, and we find out. Wait, okay, that, that's not what it is at all. That's not what it is at all. Actually, is it? I'm gonna, there, there's going to be a guide in here. So, I, 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 I don't understand things that come in boxes, but still, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what that actually is. <laughs> I might be right, and I might just be doing it wrong. So, then we have a bunch of stickers, I see, uh, like you can see. Really cool one-up box stickers. If you want to stick a one-up box sticker anywhere, because, you know, you like the box, that's always a cool thing you can do. We also have... Oh, we have uh, a little... I think this is a, a little cube you can make that's Kirby colored. It's got the Kirby face in there. And then you can stick some ears on it, maybe? Is it really the... Wait, can I do this without glue? Because... Yeah, you can, because it's got tabs. I... Actually, I think you might need glue anyway. But either way, I can make a Kirby cube. Who doesn't love Kirby and cubes? <laughs> and... Uh, oh, and then here's the guide to what's in there. So this is the Pixels 1-Up box. And inside, here's what's in there. So, okay, number four is an 8-bit bow tie. It is a bow tie. Oh, no, it's a bow tie. Right. So, as a hair bow or a bow tie. Oh, actually, I got that right. And this is a necklace, and this is a Minecraft plush. So, there's four of these you can get. Uh, I got the sheep. There was an ocelot in a box. That, ah, oh, one in four chance. I guess I'll just pick up another one. But, yeah, there's, uh, you can also get a bat, and you can get a squid. So, let me just quickly show you. Five is 8-bit stickers. Six is a bit crazy t-shirt. Uh, three is QB, uh, QB papercraft. And yeah, I think that's everything. So this this month at the very least, we got a t-shirt, which has a pretty decent value. You know, you try and buy a nice one, it's going to cost you a decent amount. We got a plush, and we all know how ridiculously expensive these are. And we've... Oh, <laughs> accidentally threw that in the wrong place. And, and everything else is really... Like, even those two things make up the price of the box more than by themselves. And they just get a bunch of other cool things, like a bow tie here. So I think... Does, does, is, is this how a bow tie works? That... This, this works. So yeah, the rest of the video will now be done with my necklace and bow tie. But, you know, we do have a Let's Play to be doing. So I'm going to go back to that. Remember, if you want to pick up a one-up box, there's a link in the description. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'd recommend at least checking it out, even if you don't want to see it. Just, just to see what's in there. But yeah, uh, this is going to have to be the end of face cam. Goodbye. I'll see you in another few weeks or month, maybe. But yeah, uh, let's go back to the gameplay. Okay, so we are back in Minecraft. So yeah, I hope you did all enjoy it. That little bit of a unboxing little thing. Uh, it was, it, it's, it's a rare little treat thing. I, as I said, I did a few of these um, several months ago, but like they, they had the boxes with super high shipping prices and so many people were telling me about that uh, and combine that with the fact that it's like, eh, I'm, I'm not sure this is something I want to do. But uh, one-up box seems to be awesome. A lot of, uh, you know, my friends like personally and on YouTube use them. So we'll have to see if that's uh, something you like. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more stuff like this. And uh, we might just get ba uh, back in touch with 1UP Box. Anyway, uh, that's going to have to be the end of that 1UP Box talk. Let's talk about the Let's Play. Because that is, a key part of the Let's Play is Let's Playing. And um, basically, yeah, you can see here, there is a big hole, which is uh, 16 blocks across, because that's how wide a chunk is. But I want to make, like, kind of the middle of the chunk, which I guess would be uh, 8 blocks in. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then the other 8 too. So these two blocks. I want to make a big trench going the entire way down the world so that there's kind of like, if I want to cross, if I really need to cross, I do have to like jump across it. And it'll just be just a really cool thing because imagine there's a trench this deep just all the way along, and there's no way across besides certain bridges. I think that could be a pretty cool thing. Or maybe it's going to look weird, but you know, that's that's what Toy Cat Projects are all about. Being different and being potentially awful. But sometimes, being potentially awful is the best way to be good. <laughs> I think I think those words make sense. They, if they don't make sense, they almost make sense. That's just that's good enough for me. So, okay, let's do the same over here. we got one, two, three, four, five, and then... Wait. <laughs> Why is there a massive tree here? Six seven and then this is the eight from the ninth block so yeah just so we can keep it in the middle and then we can like slowly fade between the two 
And we want to have a big trench gun like this. Uh, for now, we'll just uh, build that. Well, let's talk about uh, what I've been doing this week. Because that's a pretty key part of the uh, thing. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of the key things I do in this Let's Play. Because, uh, you know, this has been a long-running series. Uh, everyone, a lot of people have been watching, have been around for a long time. And I wanted to talk about trust. Because that's something I'd like to believe that we do have. Um, because, or, or I guess, uh, trust and lying. Because I was thinking about lying recently. Because when you're a kid, I'm sure everyone is told this, like, oh, you shouldn't lie. That's that's the first thing you're told about. Like, as soon as your brain can comprehend the concept, I know your parents or whatever, they'll say, oh yeah, lying's bad. Don't do it. And that's that's a really easy rule to think about and to live by. Like, yeah, lying lying is kind of bad, right? Like, why would you lie? I mean, that's just telling people they're not true. And I think honestly that. The phase at which you're told that is the phase where your lies are harmless. Like, it's really funny because the I, I was thinking recently, like the purest form of a lie is just to purely make something up. And like, uh, if I just tell you right now, uh, I'm an astronaut. I'm actually aboard Apollo Seven right now. It's, that's probably a real spaceship. Uh, I'm aboard Apollo Seven right now. If I just tell you that, that's the purest form of lie because it's not even responding to something. It's not even getting out something of a lie. It's just me making it up for the sake of making it up and telling you. So anyway, the, the reason this uh, comes into what I was thinking about is because even though we're told as kids not to lie, that like kind of doesn't fit with what the message of the rest of life tells you because a lot of, uh, like there's a lot of places where you're kind of expected to lie and that, that's something that's always bugged me because uh, I, I wish we could live in a world where when people said something, that's what they meant. Like, you know, if, if I said, oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to make it to your thing, I wish that actually meant I'm probably going to make it. I, w I wish saying probably wasn't a sneaky way to say, oh, no, I'm not going to do it. Or, or you know, um, let's come up with another example. Like, um, a lot of the time, uh, you know, even when people can't do anything to help you, like uh, customer service people are taught to say, oh, it's all right, we're pulling our whole team on this. And then they hang up and they, like, put their feet up. I, I wish, you know, when something like that would happen, that, you know, the whole world would just be like, oh, this is this is the reality behind the whole thing. I'm I'm actually gonna go hang up and I'm gonna put my big feet on the desk. I wish I could do something, but I can't. Also, I don't know stuff like that, you know. And uh, yeah, that, uh, that that was something I was thinking about recently because we you know, there's 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 so much in life where lying kind of helps you out so much, and that is irking me because you know there's there's some, something I've been trying to do. Maybe not when I was in like middle school, but in between middle school and now is like uh, oh, like I think in the UK we don't. Lots of people in the UK don't have that, but just basically when it, you know like in between primary and secondary for the UK and I think middle school actually exists in America so if it does then yeah I'm relatable but uh, one thing I'd like to believe that I've been trying to do my entire adult life or at least since like upper school is just to not lie to people because the thing about a lie is a lot of people will you know just accept that it's a part of human beings like uh, if you lie to someone's face a lot of people just accept it but I don't I don't like that to be the norm I don't I don't like you know people just randomly, you know, I, yeah, just, I, I, don't, I don't let that to be normal, and it's something I try to work on. So, uh, as part of that, like, having, like, uh, a trust between uh, you, the viewers, and me, the, like, the, the uploader, the creator, whatever you want to call me, uh, it's something that I always have thought is important, and it's something I wonder why uh, so many people are, like, so, uh, like, straight up to break. Like, uh, a, a lot of people actively try, um, so ba basically, um, that video, uh, today's video was sponsored, it'll say so in the description, uh, and I even mentioned, like, we spoke to one-up box about this, I'm not just like, ah, oh, here's this one-up box I bought, and you should check that out, and like, I, I see a lot of people who just straight up lie about a lot of really, really important things, and it's like, you're, you're not helping anyone, and like, you, or you, you might be vaguely helping yourself, but by doing such a big lie to your, you know, it's, it's like, um, if I upload a video, so um, when I do news, I'm, I try to make sure if I give my opinion, it's actually my opinion. And if I give you news, it happened or it looks like, like it genuinely looks like it's happened. Because I see um, a lot of YouTubers, um, in particular when it comes to news, because the thing about a lot of news is it's, I, I think I spoke about news last week. But a lot, a lot of news is actually based on, um, you know, like headlines and stuff. Like, it, uh, the story itself is way less important than the headline in, like, a lot of real-life news cases. Which is, it sucks that that's, that's the way things are. And a lot of people have kind of taken that to YouTube. I see people that, um, you know, like, uh, basically every time there's a convention, someone will say, Oh, TU30 release date at that convention. Because 4J Studios might just be there and they might just announce something. And it's like, well... That could technically happen, you're right, this is in the realm of possibilities, but given that, you know, 4J haven't ever been to a convention to announce something, uh, you know, once it got leaked while they were at the PlayStation Now event, and that was, like, one of the very few conventions they go to, and it's like, this is, uh, kind of a very thin kind of thing you're spinning there, but yeah, that's the kind of point I want to make, like, 
I hope to believe we have a trust that, you know, viewer, viewer, like, upload a trust, whatever you want to call it. Like, I, I, I say the truth as much as I can, and uh, in return, you let me know what you think. But that's, that's kind of uh, the rule we have here. And that's, um, I, I think that's come up because twice in this past week, like I mentioned, I've done sponsored videos. Um, the Inside My Radio video was sponsored, and uh, that was one of those deals I was really, uh, I was really like it because it was a game that I was actually kind of excited for because it like it, I, I love rhythm based games. So you don't know because um actually that ties into what I was doing this week um because basically I oh wait, let me just finish this point and then I'll talk about EGX but yeah so um <laughs> to kind of finish up with my point here. Uh, what I just wanted to say is hopefully we have, yeah, this, this, uh, the subscriber trust. When, when I say something, hopefully you can trust it. And the reason you know you should be able to trust it is because I have an extra, like, you know, one, I don't like doing it in the first place. And two, I have this, um, extreme kind of, uh, you know, I have, I have extreme benefit in doing so. If you, if you catch me just making something up, like, oh, 4J Studio sent out a tweet that was then removed saying to you 30 now, then you know that, you know, that's, you know not to trust me again and that means it's always for the best it, it might be for short-term gain but for long term which is you know what i'm in youtube for you know, that's why i chose it as a temporary full-time career anyway um is I, i'm in this for long game and that's why i hope you can trust what i say when it comes to news and when it comes to just hopefully random stuff i make up although uh, one thing i will say is no matter how, uh, like, I think it, like, so, um, you know, like, in adult life, if you try to say, like, oh, yeah, lying, that's bad, like, uh, and it's kind of accepted in a lot of places that there are some lies that are acceptable, like, you know, even adults, like, the one, the same ones, they'll tell you, like, oh, yeah, lying's bad, they'll be like, well, there's sometimes little white lies, and I, I, I can only agree that there's maybe, like, one or two cases where, um, you know, you, you kind of, it kind of gets vague whether you should lie or not, because I was thinking about it, like, let's say, for instance, um, you know, you, you're at the point where, uh, you, if, if you can lie to someone to make their life easier with no drawback, should you do so? And I, I don't know, I think it's, I think it's one of those places where maybe you should. Because, uh, for instance, um, a good example of that would be, like, uh, if you, uh, I don't know, for instance, uh, actually, I, I think I might accidentally, accidentally do this. When people say, um, you know, if, if someone asked me, oh, Tuka, how much money do you make? Uh, what I respond with is... I can't tell you. It's against the uh, AdSense uh, terms of service. And that is entirely true. But the reality is it's actually kind of a gray area because I don't have, or I have personally, but uh, when you sign up for a YouTube partnership, you don't sign a contract with AdSense, meaning it's not technically legally binding. But yet because you signed a contract with someone who signed a contract with AdSense and because you indirectly work for them, uh, this is going way off topic, but uh, because you did that, that means that technically speaking, on some level, that is true still. So when people, you know, when people say that, because even though it's a great, a gray area, instead of just saying that, I just say the simplification. And I wonder if, you know, simplifying something to lie is, does that still count? Is it not? And uh, yeah, I, I always sometimes get in this uh, sort of trap because honestly, it's one of the most valuable traits you can get in someone. At least I think so. That's why I look for. But yet, at the same time, uh, you know, the, the definition of honesty changes from person to person, which is, I don't know, that's kind of an interesting concept to me. But uh, let's stop talking about that too much. Let's talk about what I've been doing this last week. So, uh, yeah, hopefully any of those points resonated with one of you. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Do you think uh, always never, no, sorry, never lie, lie only to make someone feel better, like never lie for your own benefit, or, or lie all the time? Because if you lie enough, you know, it becomes just a thing, and, you know, eventually if everyone just does it, then it becomes a part, that's kind of how it is, like, when someone says something, you can't trust them, you, you'll be like, what are the odds they're lying, and works, you know, you could, you gotta work it out, and maybe that's a good thing, maybe that means everyone's on the same page, because otherwise, if we had this worldwide agreement that no one lied, someone would still lie, and they'd get a little more power, so by having, like, uh, pretty much everyone lie at some point. Does that make everything better? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, let's talk about what I've been doing this past week. It's a key section of this Let's Play, and it's something I haven't really... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I think I said I was going to talk about it, and then somehow I got sidetracked on the lying thing, because I, I was thinking about that on the train back from where I was, because uh, where I was this past couple of days, or where I was on Friday and Saturday, which isn't the past couple of days, but it was two days in the past, so it counts. <laughs> I swear that's how it works. But uh, yeah, basically... Well, I was actually uh, I was actually in Manchester at first. So uh, Manchester, if you don't know, is the second biggest city in the UK. I hope I got that. Right. Yeah, it's it's got to be. If it's not the second biggest, it's the third biggest. But it's a it's a very big city in the UK. But it's really far away from London, and you know a lot of the other stuff uh, people know. And it's also quite different to London and stuff. And I was there to to meet someone, and I actually learned quite a few life lessons uh, this weekend. First of all, I learned that uh, 
when you get when you book at like a reasonably nice place, you do actually have to make reservations. Like whenever I watched a TV show where they'd make reservations or like a movie, I thought that was just something people did in the 1970s or something. <laughs> like I, I've never had to reserve for a restaurant. Like even like reasonably good restaurants, I'll always walk in. They'll be like, "Do you have a reservation?" No. Okay, then. Well, we'll sit you over here. And it's like, okay, then that's fine. Um, but yeah, I I, I I arranged to go to like an amazing restaurant. It's uh, called like Tepanyaki, where. Uh, you know, uh, in TV shows, maybe you've probably seen this, where, like, the chef cooks it in front of you, and there's, like, a big fire, and it's Japanese. It's a cool thing, basically, and uh, I arranged to do that with someone, and then, as it turns out, as it turns out, you do need to reserve for that. So, I learned a life lesson there, and uh, I, since I spent, the, because I was in Manchester anyway, because uh, I, I was going to do something else, then I didn't, but then I did the thing where I did the Japanese food. Uh, the day after, I was in Birmingham. The if that's not the second biggest city, it's the third. They, basically, I went to like all three of the biggest cities in the UK this week because I'm doing like a big tour, it seems. But yeah, um, if, uh, then I went to Birmingham because EGX is there. So Eurogamer Expo is one of the really cool conventions. Uh, the thing about okay, so this is this is going to be me uh, using viewer subscriber trust rather than just pimping out event. I get lots of offers from events that are like, oh, do you will pay for blank 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 and blank 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 to get you to come to an event? Uh, the most recent one was actually Mindvention. Uh, is it my invention? Yeah, the one in Peterborough. And basically, uh, yeah, I think it's my invention. If I'm getting that confused, someone please tell me. And uh, yeah, I decide not to go to the. Like, I, I'm actually pretty, really selective about my events because a lot of these events, it's really, really horrific. But they actually, um, you know, like they exist just for fans to meet YouTubers. So they're making money just. Uh, and, uh, you know, just so they can stroke the YouTuber's egos, because, they, you know, they give you your own private security, they give you all these things, and it, it's always felt like the dodgiest thing to me, because I know a lot of people are pumped to meet YouTubers, I know, you know, some of you might want to meet me, some of you might want to meet other YouTubers, etc., but I've, I've never been down to the business practices, so I always turn down those offers, so that, that get fewer, fewer subscriber trust right there, but, um, yeah, the, the thing I wanted to make a, about this is that EGX is not that at all, like, I don't have any affiliation with the EGX guys, but I love um, Eurogamer, or EGX. I'm not sure what I'm meant to officially call it, but the the Eurogamer Expo. Uh, I I really really love that event over a lot of others because unlike those events where it's like we're gonna have this content that's gonna amuse you, there is that content there. You can probably meet a YouTuber there if you want to. But the big thing about it is there is always um there is always um you know games to play. Like even if you don't care about yeah panelists, if you don't care, if you don't watch YouTube, uh, if you're just excited for any games, you get to play them early, and you do have to wait in line because. You know, hundreds of other people want to play Just Cause Free or Guitar Hero, but that means you know you can play games before they come out, and it's the it's the it's the coolest feeling. Like uh, I, I played Guitar Hero Live, the new one that's coming out, I think, at the end of this year, and it was it was really cool. I, I kind of want to buy that game. I played Just Cause Free, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, that's the name one, uh, and I was like, yeah, the game's fun, but I'm just struggling to buy it. And it's it's a really cool experience. Like if you if you live close enough to Birmingham, the UK, I know a lot of you are from America, so <laughs> uh, that might not be a viable thing, uh, but. Basically, if you do live uh, close enough to EGX, I do actually recommend going because of the fact, like, if you play enough games that you're like, I wonder what that game's like before you buy it. Because uh, a lot of games people buy are just bad. I mean, um, the, the last Assassin's Creed game, it sounds like it's going to be amazing, and then uh, I hear it's filled with bugs and stuff. And if you want to kind of work your way around that, uh, uh, events are a wicked way to go. So, yeah, that's uh, that's my kind of opinion on events. Uh, I like it when there's actually things to entertain you. And this event actually had entertainment by itself. It wasn't just go meet some YouTubers. So, uh, yeah, there, there's... I think everything I've done this week... Um, I went up to Manchester. I went to Birmingham. And then I came back on what was probably the longest train ride ever. Um, and, yeah, I, that's that's kind of been... Uh, my past week besides that was actually preparing videos for the whole thing. Because... Uh, preparing three plus videos a day is kind of tricky but yeah i hope you oh i ran out of inventory spaces oh no we have there we haven't um but yeah so uh, while we just uh, finish this last inventory slot and then go move it back to the house um i hope you did all enjoy this episode of the minecraft xbox 360 uh, update adventures let's play if you did like it please do like it and let me know let me know if, what you think of the one-up box thing do you do you like it do you not let me know what you think with the uh, the comments down below, and let me know what you think of the uh, the whole lying situation. Because I think I might just have like extreme views on it, or maybe maybe like everyone believes that no one should lie. But we'll we'll have to see about that in the comments. But thank you all for watching. I hope you did all enjoy it. Uh, I made a decent start on this little trench, but I want it to go all the way up and down the map. So that's going to be quite the challenge. But it's 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 one I'm looking forward to doing. Um, I hope you did all enjoy the video. If you did like it, please do like it and let me know. Share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like. Like this every single day on my channel and if subscribed you'll see them daily on your homepage. Uh, one more thing actually, 
I forget. I have diamonds down here that I keep meaning to silk touch up, but I just haven't done it. So let's... Oh, I don't have any slots. Um... We'll throw away the saplings, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, so basically we need to silk touch these up. Because uh, lots of people are wondering how I have 70 diamond ore in my chest. It's because I'm waiting for an, a, uh, a fortune free pickaxe. Next week, or, or like between now and next week, I'm just going to keep grinding enchantments over and over again until I get fortune free. So now I've got 7 diamonds from this, plus 70 diamonds in the chest. I think that makes 77 diamonds. So yeah, next week's going to be really exciting. Uh, definitely tune in for that one. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.